or not, I am going to be financially independent. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Princess Renny here, and I hope you're doing well. On this channel, we talk about Christian faith, natural hair, as well as lifestyle. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about some apps that I really, really enjoy that have helped me within the past year to really get a handle on my finances. So, if you're one of those people that in the past year, you've just been spending money on random things, doing a lot of retail therapy, um, or just not being able to manage your money in a wise way, especially in the middle of a pandemic. I feel like for myself, definitely had a lot of retail therapy, um, spending a lot of time at home, but still spending the same amount of money as I did the year before when we were like going out to eat and things like that. So, um, it was eye-opening to go into these apps and check my history and see how much money I've been spending and on what so I can make the decision this year that I am going to be financially independent um, and I am definitely going to work on being free, financially free as well because um, I want to be able to use my money in a way that it's purposeful, that's like investing in myself and in family and friends and things like that. Um, not just wasting it and not really knowing where it went. So if you guys are interested in doing that, if that's one of your goals um, this year to be financially free, um, debt free, um, have independence when it comes to like your finances, definitely stay tuned. Alright guys, so right now I'm pulling up my phone so I can pull up the different apps that I use and I'm going to talk you guys through some of my favorite apps that I love that help me with my productivity, that help me with saving money and so on. first app that I have is called Cleo, C-L-E-O, and this app is basically like um, a texting kind of app where it's like I can go into the app, I can create a budget through like texting this bot. And um, the one thing that I really like about it, actually there's two things. One of the things that I like about it is that I can literally like text the, you know, the robot and be like, hey, I'm thinking of like ordering out today. And then it'll ask you how much are you planning to spend. And then it's like maybe $20, maybe $30 or whatever the case is. And then it'll tell you like if you have enough in your budget for the week or for the month or if you're going to end up going over budget. Another thing that I really like about it is that as you're texting the app, um, it sends you like these really interesting quizzes about like where a certain amount of money went within the last week or the last month. And it's like a trivia to see if you really know where your money is going. And it has like these really sarcastic remarks about your finances. Like, oh, you are on fire today, girl. Like you just blew like a thousand dollars at this store. Um, I'm exaggerating, but it's like really funny because it's true and we kind of need that tough love sometimes when it comes to our finances so I really love this app because I feel like it's like that best friend that's like girl are you serious like you're really gonna go to Target without no money like this is what we do now so yeah I needed that <laughs> um another app that I really really love is um called Credit Karma I know some of you guys are familiar with this app um basically what it does is it manages your credit it records like all the information for the different credit cards that you have and like how much money you own them if you have any loans car loans student loans um mortgages anything like that it keeps a track of all of those it gives you your credit score it gives you tips on how you can improve your credit score it tells you about different loans um tells you about different credit cards that you might qualify for which i think is really cool as well or like different loans that you may qualify for which is pretty cool um, just in case, like, that's something that you're thinking about. It also has, like, these 11-minute blogs where you can, like, go through and you can read information about, like, why you should pay off a certain amount sooner rather than later. Um, why, like, your credit score is being impacted by this, that, and the third. Um, it's just really informational, and I really like that because not only are you helping me, like, manage my finances and see everything in one place, um, but you're also helping me improve my credit score which is also part of like financial freedom and independence like you want to make sure that your score is like up there so you can qualify for whatever your next goal is um which i absolutely love like i'm really a fan of that it has really really helped me because um i got my first credit card when i was like 19 i think I was also like a full-time student in college so um that was like my start and then of course gradually I got like more credit cards and like continued to improve my credit score but I wanted to make sure that I had credit because I knew like later on down the line 
um, I would want to invest in something else and I want to be able to get that line of credit. So, um, yeah, I definitely love it that it's keeping track. Credit Karma keeps track of it and it tells me like, hey girl, like you've had this credit card, the very first credit card, I think this year is going to make five years, which is like ah, amazing. Um, so it feels really, really good to know that I am making these improvements and I'm growing and I'm learning about credit. Um, with that being said, I also like the Experian app, which tells me my um, Experian um, credit score. Credit Karma tells you your Equifax and your TransUnion. And then, of course, you need Experian to check. I like to check all three because, and especially my FICO score as well, which I get on like my um, credit card apps. Um, but... I like checking those three in particular because a lot of places look at your Equifax. A lot of them look at your Experian credit score. Some places also look at your FICO score. So it's good to know like where your ranking is in these different um, credit bureaus because once you know that, you'll know like your average. Because um, like I remember when I got my apartment, I thought I had a different credit score than what the um, broker told me. Um, and they said that they looked at like everything and found the you know, average based on all of those. So it's really good to know where you stand. So that's Experian and Credit Karma as well, which I, I love. Check your credit. Make sure you have credit. And I can talk about that in another video about like applying for a credit card, what's a good credit card, etc., etc. But we're going to go on with the next app. Um, another one of my favorite apps is called Mint, and this app is perfect if you're not a budgeting kind of person, like pen to paper, figure out where this fund go, figure out where that fund go. Um, I love Mint because you can literally go into the app, you can create a budget, and it's like you add a budget for every single like option. So it's like your rent or your mortgage or whatever, your car loan if you have one, um, your credit card bills, your groceries, your, you know pampering, personal care, internet, phone, like everything that you do and you pay for, you just put those in and they already have the categories like pre-made for you. So you can go in and you can select, like if that applies to you, you can select and add that category. Um, if it doesn't apply, then therefore it just won't show up on your budget. So I really like it because you can personalize your budget to match you. You don't really need to buy like a journal or anything. It's all in the app. And then for every single category, you can put your budget for um, whatever it is for the month. And it keeps track. It tells you if you're over budget, under budget. Like it has like a, um, a hash, like a line that goes through like for what part of the month you're in. And then it also has like the green bar or the red bar, depending on how much money you've spent so far in a month or if you're over your budget for the entire month. I also like it because I can look back on the previous months and I can see, hmm, did I spend more money in this category? Did I spend less money in this category? Do I need to tweak my budget for this category? And it's really good because you can see where your money's going and you can understand that, like, I need to stop. <laughs> like, for me, I need to stop spending so much money on Amazon. It is crazy. Um, but it's good to, like, be able to sit down and, like, look through that really quickly and then make my budget for the new month. or you don't even need to do that. Your budget for the previous month always transfers over to the new month. But if you wanted to tweak it, because maybe you did better the month before and you want to tweak it to like match your financial goal, definitely. I love it. I recommend it. That's the Mint app called Capital. Capital with a Q and I love like a, the play of words. I love this app because you can definitely do investing in this app. You can also do savings, which is what I use it primarily for. But um, I'm going to go into the app and I'm going to show you guys why I love it so much, okay? So, this is what the app looks like. I'm going to put it right here. Basically, if I wanted to, like, save money, let's say I wanted to go on vacation or something, um, and then maybe my goal for this vacation trip, I'm just going to put it in. Just going to change the picture really quickly so you guys can see it as well. Um, and then maybe it's, like, I don't know, $1,500 for this trip. I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm going to, like... California or DR or something. I don't know. Let's just say, right? And let's say, you know, for food, for the trip, for like my stay, for excursions and things like that, my goal amount is $1,500. I don't know where this $1,500 coming from, but let's just say, let's just pretend, right? So like I would put in the goal and then there's all these different categories of things that I can choose for my rules. So like with the rules, they have to set it and forget it, which is like, every week or every month or every whatever time every day 
Um, you save a certain amount and then it just keeps doing it automatically and you don't have to think about it because it's doing it for you. They also have the payday option where it's like you save a certain percentage of your um, income based on like if you want to do it every time you get a certain like $50 or like $100 or $1,000, whatever amount you know you usually get um, on a consistent basis. You can do it based on that and just say every time I get X amount or more, just save 10% or 20% or whatever. Also love the round up feature, which really helped me a lot um, with my savings because I can round up to like the next dollar or the next $2 or the next $5 and so on. That really helped me save a lot of money um, because let's say I saved, like I spent $20.95 it will save $4.05 because that's the next $5. And so like every time I swipe my card, I'll be saving money, which it's a blessing <laughs> because if you're really trying to rig rigorously save money, but you don't maybe have the discipline to actually like put it in and not touch it, I think that's a good option. Um, but for me, I would have it and forget that, you know, this app is saving out money. And it was to the point that I had to like just pause it. But I like it. I love this app. And they also have like the, you can connect your Apple Watch to it. You can connect like um, your Amazon Alexa account, your YouTube account, your Uber account. So every time like you watch a video or like a video that rule and it's like, well, maybe I don't want to take an Uber. Um, so like if I do that, then I owe myself a certain amount of money, right? Um, I know people do that. Or like if I need a help goal meaning that maybe you jog every day or something you will reward yourself with by paying yourself back so um they also have this one where it's like spend less so if you create a budget i remember when i was in college i used to have a budget for starbucks because there were starbucks everywhere and i think i did 30 dollars a week because it's like five ten dollars i'm spending on starbucks um on a daily basis and it's like Okay, I'm trying not to spend at Starbucks, but God forbid I do. Maybe I'll do one day or two days at most. So I was like, okay, if I don't spend thirty dollars in Starbucks in a week. The rest that's left over, I want to save that. And so, like, I don't think there was a week that I saved the whole thirty dollars, but like that really helped me too. So like, maybe one day I only spent ten, and I was able to save twenty dollars for that week. So that was really beneficial for me as well. Um, I really love this app because I've like recommended it to my friends. We started doing savings for different things together. Um, and I just think it's really, really cool. And right now they have a promotion where it's like the first like 10 people from, of course, my YouTube that create the account using my link that I'm going to put below. If you create your own account right now, the cool thing about the app is that it will give you $5. But I'm going to select, if I get 10 people, it has to be 10 or more, uh, the first 10 people, I'm going to send an additional $10 to. So not only are you getting $5 from the app, but you're also going to get another $10 from me. That's a total of $15 uh, for 10 people. But the deadline is January 31st. You must um, open up an account with them and also make your first like savings with it, whether it's like a direct deposit that you're putting into the account or um, you set up one of those rules to save money. And once you do that, I'll get the notification and your money will be on its way to you. So definitely stay tuned. Um, and I hope that you know, you're selected to win this. Another app that I really like is called Fetch Rewards, which if you shop a lot, why not make money off of your receipts? The way this app works is that you can go to a store. Let's say I'm always at Walgreens, right? So I go to Walgreens, I pick up a few things that I really needed, um, and then I take a picture of my receipt right after I like leave the store or right after I'm done if there's no one behind me. Um, that way I don't forget. I tend to lose important receipts and keep receipts that are not important. Like, are you that person? Like, the one receipt that you're looking for, you can't find, but the other ones that you don't really need, you're like, why didn't I throw this away already? That's my like situation. So um, I like to just take a picture right there in the moment or as soon as I get home so that I can put it in the app. And like depending on the things that you purchase, you can get at least 25 points all the way to like 5,000 points. And as you keep racking up points, you can redeem your points for gift cards. One of the really cool things about the app is that whenever I do my Amazon purchases or some of the giveaways that I did for you guys, I actually earned um, points and I was able to buy those gift cards to like gift to someone else. So I love it because if I can get like $25 back 
for all the money that I've been spending in the past year, at least 25, I'm, I think I've made more from that. It is really, really cool. So if you're interested, definitely go ahead and download that app. It's called Fetch. And you just get money back for all the stuff that you're buying. Like, if your parents buy things, take a picture of their receipt. Like, and the cool thing about it as well is that the receipt stays in the app. So you can look at it, like, years to come. So, like, if, you know, with the pandemic, with, like, returns, they have been accepting um, clothing or, like, certain items being returned up until January 31st some locations so i think that's really really cool because you have your receipt in your phone even if you lose it or it gets like messed up for whatever reason you have it in the phone you can show it to them they can scan it from the phone and you're good to go so if you have any financial goals anything that you're working towards definitely comment them down below also if you know any apps that are really really good for saving money and helping improve your credit and getting closer to financial freedom definitely comment them down below we want to hear about it and i definitely want to see if there's something else that i can be adding to my list of favorites that can help me reach my goal for this year so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys liked it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button below also click the bell button so you're always notified when i post a new video all right guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you on the next one be blessed spread love and stay beautiful inside it out. Bye.